don't change that i think you should not change uh, here whatever you have done is correct go to intents and map it uh, such that if we get we may or may not get it yes. but so it's not mandatory that's what we are saying instead of giving read emails give it as read that should be fine so what are we saying we are asking uh, count and what are we asking read emails count read emails count right so one more thing like do you want that state to be mandatory like the email state to no. mention the user read or unread no okay so then so in in general if if he want if he asks us give me just email count then okay we are giving you the email count but if he mentions the state then we need to say that okay this is unread emails that we need to filter out let me add for like give me red email count see so this thing is done like the red thing is uh -huh. in the email state and the okay. email count is in the email count like what you said okay so mm, okay basically we are mentioning the state so that we are giving the states okay fine and also the int intents and entities like get matched and here we have like the two the two outputs like you want correct yeah so let's go ahead and test one thing so that we'll check what is the value that we are getting yes so in the dialog flow we need to map properly so here we got email count in this we need to map right yeah. i'm not sure why but okay i think i removed all the intents and entities for chatbot dev okay map it so here i'm creating a new project only to test the email count okay yeah get the email count uh, we can say that give email count right. upon user request right mm -hmm. this can be the simple thing that we can say now when we have this uh, it just need to go ahead and get the count yeah. that's it nothing else yeah. so in the main flow let me add one sequence i'm adding a sequence and in this okay uh, so let's also go to dialog flow okay here we have get email count we we need yeah. to map it so we have email count and email state, email state. Yeah. yeah so this is what we need to create as arguments yeah, right let's copy this email state and email count okay so here we have an issue uh, or okay we already know that we already know the intent right yeah yeah but parameter okay what can be the parameter it should be an out argument right yes like See here from our ui path it should be an out argument correct so here in the intents we need to go to get mail account and in this uh, we gave a response called out email out email count maybe the namings may change but i i need to publish this so publishing chatbot email count uh, i think you will need to add the default value also in the arguments checking just a second output one initial deployment next publish okay you're saying something in the yeah. arguments yeah in the arguments for mm -hmm. the email count do we like need to map the output like we did in the previous one our chatbots like the cases one uh see this is the mapping that we need to do let's yeah. see if because it's already available we need to map it of course with the chatbots yeah cancel let's refresh it 
so since i have published there we should be able to see get email count here okay i didn't create a uh, process Just for that yeah yeah so i need to create a process name as well so chatbot get email count this should be done i think uh, these are the parameters that are required yes. uh, but email state is not compulsory and also we okay if we kept top 10 emails then maybe we can pass the value as well okay but for now this is not required and we already have these values so just like first test it for that then we can make modify the changes exactly so here we have the values so let's refresh it once again and we can see the values here get email count okay chatbot email count so this is what we require and email state is matching with email state outlook out is matching with this one yeah and both are optional also so there's no problem no problem and we have output email count so which should be available yeah okay let's go ahead and launch this one test right in the dialog flow that our output argument out email count in the dialog flow chatbot i think it's already mapped no need to check with that what are you saying in the emails what are you what are you checking for no no in the intents in the intents okay output which we are writing get email count in the get email count did okay. you write that out email count yeah i have already written okay okay yeah yeah that's on your here. current email is out email count that's i have that i have already added okay. so let's go with this one testing chatbot covid chatbot okay okay let's give it a high first uh, get emails so again we did not give how many emails or what is the state of the email so it should ideally get total emails the bot started in the background right so it should complete so here if you see the outlook is working on the background again outlook closed so it's saying the current okay current email count is zero so we don't have any emails that's what it's saying but let's go ahead and test it manually or else what we can do is uh, converting this into an excel input in the excel input we can give if uh, the data like mail one red mail two hundred something like that to oh, reconfigure it again no need to reconfigure so email count we are checking but uh, since we are not getting the mails what we can do is let's go ahead and add an excel in this new excel sheet in the new excel sheet this can be a data a data excel in this data excel let's say that mails okay uh, state of mails that's it right mail one mail two we can keep yeah yeah mail one mail two mail three mail four and in the states we can say 100 100 and red red so it should actually go and fetch or filter all the values that are 100 or red okay so in this sequence what we can do is we can give a sequence again what we can ask it for we can ask it for uh, read range okay yeah so here we have a read range uh, but upon on top of it we need to have excel application scope yeah so when we have excel application scope we can directly map the path so in sheet one we are actually checking with the value let's keep it as dt which will give us some values remove unused variables so here in the dt again let's keep an if condition so we can check what exactly the user is requesting so here if we ask for okay email state equal to, equal to red right. whatever it's coming now here uh, since we are giving only the count let's create a uh, let's assign it to a variable 
directly in the same so here we can assign out email count yeah red mails yeah so we are checking only the red emails that's what we are asking yeah. so here we can see dt dot select in this select i need to give uh, okay what do we have okay we have this in the data we have mails so here we have mails right uh, but we need a state so mail state okay we have state state should be equal to red that's what we are asking for yeah. okay so this should be equal to red dot count dot to string okay and we can close this so what issue do we have now dt is not declared we declared dt but i think it's not out of the scope so we can check with the dt it can be a sequence scoped and same thing we can ask 400 yeah so so for unread okay let's not divide it for now uh, maybe later we can check with the input values or we can do like this as well so if it is asking red or if it is asking unread then we need to pass in the variable so what we can do is dt select which will give us complete uh, complete values like you have these many values and right. when we are passing in the values uh, instead of giving red let's give it has a dynamic value email state so whatever comes in either it can be read or it can be unread that doesn't matter now so it will be mapped properly and we can get the values but like first we get the total count then we can put the if and statement yeah so here if email can be read or unread yeah or So if it is not both, then it should ideally take all the values. That's it, nothing else. Okay. So we have these. Let's close this one and let's keep a message box. Here we can ask, say that total count user requested for, and we can give us state uh, it can be email state plus emails so we are saying that user requested for emails but if user requested for unread then it will come as unread emails if user requested for red then it will say red emails but if it is empty empty then it will be user requested for emails and okay emails and the count is count is plus uh, out email count okay so that's it let's go ahead and see okay. with the argument let's test one because since we have 100 it should give us two and if it is more than two then let's see okay we have values now let's remove this 100 so we should get ideally 4 4 okay so we are getting the values yeah. now let's go to chatbot and i think we need not map it again 